Hey everybody, welcome to the Vitruvian Life. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, the last day of March. Uh, coronavirus thing is still going on, uh, still at home. We've played a bunch of board games uh, already. Uh, that's probably the best thing to do when you're in this hobby and there's two of you. Even if you're alone, you can play a lot of solo games, but still. Uh, let me know how you're doing. Are you still safe? Are you still healthy? I hope you're doing all well in this terrible, st stupid uh, situation. But try to make the best of it. Now, that's what this episode is all about. Trying to make the best of the situation. So last week I knew I was going to be at home this week. And I was thinking, wow, what can we do to spend the time? Okay, we can play board games. But after a while it might get a little bit too much. I know. I something I would probably never normally say that there might be too much time for board games but sometimes you want to do other things we've been watching some Netflix catching up on Game of Thrones because we didn't see everything yet so we're going through that as well um, but I wanted to do something else because uh, do, being some a little bit active not sports uh, I should do some sports by the way uh, I should go for a run now and then we'll see Anyway, I did something crazy. Um, I spent quite a bit of money on something to stay busy do these maybe more weeks that I will be home. We'll see. Um, might not be the smartest thing to do in this time where we will earn less money. Uh, but still, let's go and take a look at what's on the table here. Okay, here we are. I'm hidden behind this big, big box. Now, for those of you who are looking very closely, you can also already see a hint what it is, kinda, because this box has some... has this brand on it. Yes, Lego. So I bought a Lego set. Now, I'm not a big Lego builder. Um, why? Because it's expensive. And I've got this board game collection to, well to buy and all that stuff and I wanted to do something else and I thought let's do crazy and let's do a big Lego set um, and there is one that I really wanted already for a long 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 time and now there was a, a discount on this now uh, it was a, a lucky coincidence but still, it was still expensive though uh, but hey let's see what I just Got so uh, let's open this big thing here. Be careful not to damage anything, that would be terrible. Uh, all right, so uh, first thing I thought was it would be covered with foam, so the box this box would be way bigger than the content. But at first glance, that's not the case, the box inside is this big. All right, you can already see towards Star Wars and it says Ultimate Collection Series, Collector Series. So yeah, Star Wars stuff, folks. And you probably can already guess what it is. I'm not sure if I can get it out this way. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can also get the bottom stuff. Off. And you're probably hearing me very bad because the microphone is on the other side. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's remove the bottom as well. Alright. That is done. <laughs> this is crazy. The most crazy unboxing that I ever did. That's for sure. Let's push it out. It's like. It's like giving birth to something huge. This must be how it feels to be a veterinarian with... And you have to help giving birth to a calf. Oh boy! Alright, a funny thing, if this was the wrong thing now, you would see me very disappointed. But there we go. Alright folks. The moment of truth! That's it. This is it. I got myself the Millennium Falcon. 
which is honestly my favorite character of Star Wars, uh, although it's a spaceship and not a real person, but still it is. This is my favorite thing about Star Wars, this spaceship. So yeah, this is the Millennium Falcon. This, uh, I don't know how much, I think it has 7,500 pieces, um, which is just crazy. So I probably will show you more of this in the future. I'm not going to unbox anything. Elise is also looking forward to see this and to, to, uh, to start building this, but this will take a while. I've seen videos online where a complete team of people built for hours on this. So uh, there's only the two of us and we're not that experienced with building Lego. So this might be very interesting folks. So that's what I got. I know it's a crazy, silly purchase, but it will hopefully give us a lot of uh, pleasure, a lot of fun and a nice result in the end. So. How is your experience with Lego? Do you also have these huge things? Do you have a lot of small Lego sets? Uh, I, I didn't have a lot when I was a kid because it was way too expensive. Uh, so I played Lego uh, with some Lego from, my, from a friend of mine when I was uh, at his place. Besides that, I only had a couple of things, uh, not a lot. And now I have this, uh, which is crazy, but yeah. Happy to have it and let's, uh, I'm going downstairs again and I'm going to uh, break open this boy and uh, we'll probably start the first small steps into making the Millennium Falcon. Okay, so that's it for today, folks. I hope you really, I hope you're safe, stay safe, listen to the guidelines, keep your distance, stay inside, but go for a walk if you need some fresh air, but keep your distance. If you feel sick, don't go to work. Just just stay healthy, folks. Uh, and let everybody else stay healthy as well that way. It's uh, getting rough and tough in the uh, United States as well now. Uh, so it's not uh, it's still not where we should be. So keep stay strong, stay healthy, and see you all next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.